those are all good points, but you're talking about a trailing 12 at that point comparison over that. So everything you just said Correct. was, wasn't necessarily in preparation for September. It was preparation for just growth in general. And yeah. that acknowledges what Pete said from the standpoint of it's, there's just a, a natural lull in business, whether it be in April or September and misery loves company. So everybody loves to blame September. And I actually had a doc tell me about well, September and he had a, he had a great month. Right. Nailed all the goals. The whole practice nailed all the goals from that standpoint. But it's nothing more than just repeating what you've Thanks. heard over and over again. And then you get into uh, and it, it can be a self-realizing prophecy. But right. at the same time, I agree. What happens this month was baked two, three months ago. And I think it's important, you know, because, you know, predominantly this is listened to by doctors, right, who are leaders in their practice. And <clears throat> so if the tip of this spear, let's just say, is saying like, hey, September's coming. So it almost gives everyone a hall pass, right? It yeah, almost yeah. is like, okay, cool. You doc, exactly. docs already acknowledge we're going to have a shitty month. Well, let's have a, sh you know, we're going to have a shitty month kind of thing. Um, so be careful with the words that you use. It's okay to do that amongst colleagues and your family and all that stuff, but be careful of the words that you use in the office uh, because they manifest and become real, right? Because and all of our, all of us have practices that our team is a lot of their income comes from, you know, incentive bonuses. plans. And, and for us, the way we really knew was we hit four tier bonuses in September. I mean, that's how we knew we were having a good month. And so the truth is, is for us to say those things, it's kind of like saying, hey, by the way, you're getting paid less this month. So don't work too hard by you saying that out loud. It's just like literally, hey, by the way, you're going to get paid less this month. Uh, of course, you're not going to put in the added effort as opposed to coming in saying, let's make sure you're killing it this month. It makes all the difference in the world. But I think it does need that that immediate the same way people are responding negatively at the start of the month is how you should show up at the beginning of the month and say, let's go, let's make this happen. Let's double check it and maybe put a little bit more emphasis on it to make sure people are winning that month. Yeah. Right. So with uh, I, I've never heard this word before, September. I've never even heard it. I hadn't either until Dwight proposed it in our text. Thread of so so I have well, a really good process of just ignoring people who have damaged psychology and right. what Peter just said and, and what y'all alluded to is it's a self-fulfilling prophecy it you know it's what we it's not what we say aloud but what we whisper to ourselves silently that has the most power over us and I don't have anybody in my world or I try to eliminate them quickly if they show up that has that type of psychology like well you know how it is or you know how it is in in grapevine Texas or you know how it is over here right. like that's just bullshit yeah. So, um, you know, in my particular situation, the reason why I wanted to go last is because in full disclosure, and you guys are going to pick on me. I don't know how our September was just yet. Oh, my God. I don't know because I don't know how it finished because I added two docs on August 1st. I wanted to say something about that. So one doc's been practicing 10 years, friend of uh, Dwight's well, and mine. You can look in your patient management software. You know, no, no, I, I know. I know. No, I don't know. the. I don't know last week because a hurricane <laughs> rolled through and I've been chain the last five excuse, days. But. Excuses. Yeah, yeah, such exactly. excuses, Trey. So I don't even know how I did. It wasn't even a cat five. I don't even know how I did. It's October third. It's October third. Yeah, so well, there's a lot of people suffering right now with that. <laughs> well, but okay. anyway, I'll let that slide. Yeah. So, um, so we added two doctors August first um, at the same exact time. Both started August first. One's been practicing for ten years. That's our friend Dwight, and the other one's been yeah. practicing for twelve years. Within the first forty days, they both landed, landed or closed and started their largest treatment plans of their entire prof of their professional career. Of so one was a $95,000 one was a 74. And for them, those two independent of each other, those were the largest treatment plans they've ever presented, closed and started in their career. So 22 years of dentistry. So why, why do I, why do I not care how the last week finished up? Because I've added so much wood to this fire. And I yep. think in business, if you're, you know, you guys were saying, how have you, what have you done three months ago? What have you done four months ago? If your business is all about innovation and growth, you should consistently be adding fuel to the fire or else you're going to be up to the whims of what's happening in your local economy and what time yeah. of year it is. But it, you can't compare one year to the next if you've added shit tons of, of infrastructure, if you added equipment or scanners or printers or yeah. people, how could it not grow? Yeah. 